Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked up this week. So I think let's just briefly go through these one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato, a Scribo Phil in the Verde Bosco, a Scribo 3 in the Bologna Blue, a Pelican M1000 Raden Starlight, a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight, a Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar, an Armando Simone Club, Bologna Extra Africa, an Armando Simone Club, Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens, the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red, and the Classic Pens LB5 in the Calseki. So let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is a Scribo feel, and you can see here the Scribo logo on the cap finial, which is just a quill there. It's a lovely faceted pen and an hourglass shaped pen as well. And I do love these. These are piston filling pens. I love the ruthenium trim on this pen, but I mostly like the 14 karat gold nib and this is a flex nib or a medium flex nib and this is the same nib that omas om81 nibs uh, used to have all the omas nibs the extra flesser belay nibs but this is a beautiful pen you can see just in the size of my hand here it's very comfortable to write with and it's a pen that i really do love writing with a lot and then Another Scribo fill that I have inked up this week is the Scribo fill in the Verde Bosco. And again, this is a lovely green material. Now, these are resins, uh, they're not celluloid, but they are piston filling pens. And again, I just love this pen. I love the weight, the size of the pen in my hand, but I love that 14 cat gold medium flex nib. These nibs write beautifully well. If you get a chance to try any of these nibs, definitely try, I would say try the 18 karat gold nibs, but try the 14 karat gold nibs. The 14 karat gold are the flex nibs, the 18 karat gold are, are typically called soft nibs. And then I have my Scribo 3 in the Bologna Blue, and this is again a beautiful pen. I just love writing with it again. It's uh, I love the material. It's not faceted like the Scribo feels, uh, but it is a, a really nice pen. And this is uh, made by Scribo, but it's a right here pens exclusive in the UK. And that's the right here pens logo, a fountain pen nib. And again, I'm a sucker for these 14 karat gold nibs. This is the medium flex nib there uh, but it is a beautiful nib it's all of these screwers come with ebonite feeders and it's just a really really nice pen to write with and then we have the pelican m1000 Varden starlight and this is a beautiful pen it's a pen that i picked up in christmas 2019 beautiful Machia Varden pen absolutely stunning I wanted this for a couple of years it has a Pelican M1000 medium nib there but it's a beautiful pen to write with very wet very bouncy nib and so glad that I was able to pick this up from a private seller private collector that actually had one of these for sale it's strangely as luck or fate would have it he also had this one for sale and it didn't sell within i think about four weeks so then at that point i decided i would buy this one as well so this was my birthday pen of 2020 and again it's a Machia varden it's just beautiful a absolutely stunning pen i really do love this so again it's a pelican M1000 nib and you can see it there uh, it's a medium nib these all of these Machia Rardens come with uh, medium nibs they don't come with anything else but 
I love the Pelican medium nib. So this material is very stunning. So I'm so glad that I was able to pick both of these pens up when I did. They were not cheap pens by any stretch, but they are Mackie and they are Varden. So you know that you're going to pay a little bit more for that type of pen. And then I have this pen inked up, and this is the Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar, and again, it's another Mackie Varden. So I just love these Mackie Varden pens, they're beautiful. So this is the Sailor King of Pen, and it writes exquisitely well. It comes with a Sailor King of Pen nib, and this is a broad nib, which is effectively a Western medium but I just love it. I love this pen. And you might think, ah, oh, but the pattern isn't lining up there. There is a thread that you can catch where that pattern will line up exactly. Uh, but this, again, is a beautiful pen I have inked up this week that I've been writing with. And then we have an Armando Simone Club, and this is the uh, Bologna Extra Africa and this is a beautiful pen it's number 19 uh, one of the early model pens but this material is very very captivating so again this is a pen that I like to write with I like to write with all of my Armando Simone Club pens they write more like a broad nib very juicy wet fire hose nibs but this is a beautiful pen to write with so there you can see it it's got the Armando Simone Club Magic Flex nib with an ebonite feed but these are just beautiful pens to be able to write with so I have that one inked up this week and then I have this pen which is my Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra black and gold luchens and this is a stunning material it I absolutely love the luchens material it's a very transparent see-through material there you can see the actual um, sort of pneumatic filler sort of there between sort of behind the the black and the the gold but it's a beautiful pen it's again these ASC pens are just a beautiful nib to write with it's an ASC Magic Flex nib with an ebonite feed but in terms of the size of my hand I just love I love the size I love the weight and I love how these nibs write so again this is another pen that I have inked up this week and then we have the classic pens LM1 in the flame red and as you can see here it says classic pens and it's LM1 Flame Red, and then the number there. And this is really beautiful pen. It's made of diffusion bonded acrylic, which effectively means it's acrylic that uh, is in sheets that is pressed together under a very high pressure to bond and, and fuse together. But this material is very stunning and captivating. So I love this. Uh, it Because it's a classic pen, it's a cartridge converter. It uh, has a box number six size nib and it's a medium nib. But for me, that's another pen that I have inked up this week that I've been writing with. And then last but not least, we have the classic pens LB5 in the Kawasaki or metal ore. And again, this is the diffusion bonded acrylic, but this is the brown version, and this is beautifully stunning. Now, because it's an LB5, it is actually made by Sailor, LB5, Kawasaki, uh, and because it's made by Sailor, it has a Sailor King of Pen nib, and this is a medium nib, so it writes more like a Western Fine. But this, you see in the size of my hand, this is a beautiful pen. It's a cartridge converter, but again, it just writes very, very well. And I just love it. I love this pen. And I don't normally like Western Fine nibs, but I do like that Western Fine nib. So that's my currently inked pens for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is the Scribo Phil 
in the Verde Prato. So let's do an ink swatch. Now this is a medium nib and it is a 14 karat gold flex nib. So this is the Scribo fill in the Verde Prato and this is a medium and it is a 14 karat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot of Washizuku Chikurin. I'm just going to just double check how to spell that because I've not spelt that ink in a little while. And then the next pen is the Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here this nib is very, very wet. Maybe the ink has something to do with it as well, but this ink is very, this nib is very wet. So this is the Scribo fill in the Verde. And this is the Bosco. And again, it's a medium 14 karat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Akamon Bazudan Woodgorn and that is a beautiful dark green ink. The next pen I have inked up is the Scribo 3 in the Bologna Blue. So again let's do it an ink swatch Now this is still a wet nib, it's not quite as bouncy as the previous nib, or the previous two nibs. It is a Scribo Fill, oh, actually sorry, it's not Scribo Fill, it's a Scribo 3 in the Bologna Blue. And it's a medium 14 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Robert Oster Blue Water Ice, which again is a lovely blue ink. The next pen is the Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, you can see that this is a wet nib too. So this is the Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight. And it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho, which is a beautiful gold ink. And then the next pen is the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. And being sunlight, I decided sunlight, sunrise, I would put a lovely sunny orangey ink in it. So this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight. And it is a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Sailor Gentle apricot which is a beautiful orangey ink the next pen is the sailor king of pen sakura nagar so again we'll do an ink swatch now 
it's a similar ink but not the same so this is the sailor king of pen Sakura Nagar and it's a broad 21 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is KWZ grapefruit which is another orangey ink but a little bit more on the darker side of more of an orangey red the next pen is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Africa. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. And this is the ASC Bologna Extra Africa in a medium 18 carat gold some magic flex nib and you can see just how wet these nibs write and then the ink in here is KWZ honey that's a beautiful ink and then we have the Armando Simone Club Bologna extra black and gold luchant we'll do an ink swatch on this one and again a very wet nib being that magic flex nib and this is the ASC Bologna extra and it's the black and gold luchants and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is the same ink as the pen before KWZ honey it's just a lovely brownie honey kind of ink that I love a lot the next pen inked up this week is the classic pens LM1 in the flame red do another ink swatch and the pen is the classic pens LM1 in the flame red in a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is blackstone Yoluru red and then last but not least we have the classic pens LB5 Kauseki. Do an ink swatch. So this is the classic pens LB5 in the Kauseki and it's a medium 21 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is pilot Oroshizuku and it's Sakushi so I think let's just go through these pens inked up one more time we have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato the medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Chiku Rin. We have a Scribo Phil Verde Bosco in a medium 14 carat gold nib inked up with Akamon Bazood and Woodgrown. We have a Scribo 3 Bologna Blue in a medium 14 carat gold nib inked up with Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. We have a Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku in a hoe. We have a Pelican M1000 Warden Sunlight in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Sailor Gentle Apricot. We have a Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar in a broad 21 carat gold nib inked up with KWZ Grapefruit. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Africa in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with KWZ Honey. 
We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchance in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Honey. We have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Blackstone Yuluru Red. And then last but not least, we have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kalseki in a medium 21 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Washer Zuku Sukushi. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.